and welcome back everyone. I'm out here with COSI with Kelly and you guys were able to reopen after some cleaning, some new exhibits opening up. How's everything going out here at COSI? Everything's great. We are so excited to be back open here in October and we have two new exhibits that are currently open and running right now. So we have Doc McStuffins as well as Pterosaurs. So have you had a chance to check those out yet? You know what? I haven't yet, but I was out at After Dark and it was a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, you will have to check it out because they're, they are great. And it looks like you've got some fun Halloween stuff going on as well. What? Tell me more about these pumpkins and candy corn. Sure do. So with Halloween right around the corner, I thought we'd do a fun little simple activity, simple science activity um, related to Halloween. And all that this experiment requires is actually just two ingredients. So we need styrofoam and we need acetone. And so obviously you can find styrofoam in packing peanuts and sometimes in egg cartons. Um, but today we have some Halloween related styrofoam objects. Much more and festive. We are going to see what happens when we pour some acetone on top. So, um, first of all, I'm going to ask, do you have a prediction? What's going to happen Let me see. if we pour some of this on top of there? I feel like in the spirit of Halloween, something spooky is going to happen. Ooh, so we've got to have some prediction. sort of like form change, right? Yeah, I like that. All right, we'll have to check it out. So first, safety first, we have to always make sure we are wearing eye protection. So go ahead and put your glasses on there. And... Let's go ahead and find out. Should we do a little countdown here? I like this. All right, so okay. countdown from three, three two, two, one. You can see some bubbling already happening. Oh, that happened pretty quick. And it appears to be melting here. It is. We have lost our pumpkin. Would you like to try it with the candy corn? Yes, I'm kind of excited to see this. All right. Okay. Doesn't matter if I just put it in the middle, Perfect. cover it. Oh, oh, there it goes. <laughs> it just completely so, deflated. <laughs> so what we actually have here is a chemical reaction happening. So our styrofoam is turning into something new. And so it actually is not going to be able to turn back to the way that it was because of that chemical reaction, that chemical change that just occurred. Oh, wow. So do you want to go ahead and see if we can d use another type of styrofoam and make this reaction happen again? I like this. This is kind of fun right. with the small ones. This time I have something a little bit bigger, perhaps a little spookier in, mm. in the name of Halloween. Are you ready for it? I like this. I'm excited. All right. I have a couple of Halloween characters here. <laughs> And should we see if we can make one of these guys disappear? We have our pumpkin head as well as Jack from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Should we try and see if we can do that? I like this. I'm excited to see what happens on the bigger scale. All right, perfect. So here we are, and for the first one that I'm gonna do here is going to be Jack from the Nightmare Before Christmas. And let's see if we can apply what we just learned in that last experiment to this bigger version, which is still styrofoam, mm -hmm. and we still have our acetone. So we have our eye protection on, we are in a nice, well-ventilated mm -hmm. area here, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour this on and see what happens. Ooh. A little spookier than our pumpkin, huh? Definitely is. And you mentioned that there's the chemical change. Are we getting something completely new or is it? Yes, so what's actually happening right now is this acetone is breaking down the molecular bonds that is here in the styrofoam. And because styrofoam is mostly made up of air, it is letting out, when those bonds are breaking, it is letting out that air, letting it out to escape, and then it is all, you can almost see it like appear to be melting <laughs> into a liquid or goo of sorts. Ooh, that is kind of fun. So we, oh, they're still a little bit standing. Oh. Not for long though, there it goes. And there it goes. <laughs> and you can kind of see how it looks almost kind of gooey there, but because it is changing into a new form, and like we said, with the chemi chemical change there, we cannot make it go back to the way that it was. Oh, yeah. Well, that was pretty cool. Bye, bye Jack. Um, he disappeared. <laughs> Should we see if we can make the pumpkin head disappear? I kind of like this. All this right. is a fun time. Go ahead, try it out. Here we go. And it doesn't take a whole lot of the acetone, I think despite me just completely bathing in it. Right, exactly. It seems to be bubbling away in such a hurry. <laughs> slowly, slowly all of that air is being released. There's just a lot of air in our styrofoam here. So when it is poured on there, it is letting out that air. 
I believe styrofoam is like 95% air, actually. And that's pretty crazy. That's something you don't think about, too, because you think of it in that very solid form, like you mentioned, like an egg carton or yeah. our Halloween decorations. Exactly. So as you can see here, it's kind of, we, it is becoming a lot um, smaller because that air is coming out. Oh. <laughs> Well, excellent. Thank you so much. And again, COSI is open again, yes. where you guys do all sorts of fun experiments. Absolutely. There's always something fun happening around our building, all kinds of experiments to see, and it changes depending on the day. So there's always something fun and new to see around here. But again, we have Doc McStuffins that is open right now, as well as pterosaurs, and um, those are here for, for a few months here, and so you'll have to come check them out while they're at COSI right now. Oh, absolutely. And remember, you can log on to COSI.org in order to reserve those tickets check out which exhibits are coming through, or to watch this fun experiment again. You can log on to our website, NBC4i.com. So, Kelly, thank you so much for this spooky experiment. Of course. Thanks for helping me.